Hello, my young friends. I hope you all are doing well. I, I miss seeing you so much every Sunday morning, but I know that one of these days very soon, we will all be back in church together. Today, I want to talk to you about something very important. And you know me, it's always very important. When I was a little girl, I loved to watch cartoons on Saturday morning. Oh, so much fun. My mother would get up and make pancakes or French toast or even just a bowl of cereal. I didn't care as long as I got to watch Bugs Bunny. Well, I knew I couldn't watch cartoons all day because I had chores to do. That's what my mom and dad expected me to do. So I would always have to make up my bed, pick up my toys, clean up my room. Sometimes I would help my mother fold laundry or sweep. Sometimes I would even help my dad in the backyard raking leaves. Whatever they wanted me to do, I did. Now, there were many Saturdays that I didn't want to do chores. I wanted to watch cartoons and I would whine. Well, one day, my mother and father came in the den where I was sitting and they sat down next to me and my father had a hammer. Now, boys and girls, my mother and father were wonderful parents. I loved them so much and they were just great. So I didn't understand why my father had a hammer, but he told me that a hammer is a very important tool and it has two parts. One is the face, one is the claw. Now the face is responsible for being a knocker and the claw is responsible for lifting things up. So you've got the knocker and the lifter. I wasn't too sure what he was talking about, but he went on to tell me, he said, when you go through life, you can either be a knocker and complain about things and whine about things and say unkind things, or you can be a lifter and you can lift people up and you can bring joy to people's lives just by being kind and thoughtful. Well, I thought about it and I decided I really want to be a lifter, but it is very hard sometimes to be a lifter. Sometimes it's easier to be a knocker. But what I want to tell you today is that God wants us to be lifters. He wants us to lift other people up. He wants us to bring joy to other people because that will bring joy to us. He wants us to love other people like Jesus taught us to love. So, I'm going to give you a challenge. I want you to try to be a lifter every day. It's hard, and sometimes I don't do very well with it, but we always have to have faith in God that He will be with us to help us lift people up. Okay, let's say a prayer. Let's do prayer hands. Bow your heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for making us who we are. Help us to lift others up, to be kind, to be thoughtful, and to be helpful. We love you, amen. Boys and girls, I want you to stay safe and stay healthy, and I want you to know that I love you all very much, and you are in my prayers every day, and we will see each other soon. Bye.